Hi, I'm here to check in. Did you pack that yourself? Uh, me and my wife packed it. Are you carrying any fluids? It's mostly solids, to be quite honest with you. I'll call you when you're ready to board, sir. Thanks very much. I'll just take this on and put it in the overhead locker. Right, well, it is half eight ish, and we are heading from you can see our motor home behind us, and we are heading now up to catch the train to where we're going? Sweden. To Malmo in Sweden. Have you got the passports? Yes, passports. Passports, have you got money? Got money. Got money. Okay. That's it then, so walk with us up through the middle of the campsite for a minute and uh, come with us on a trip to Malmo in Sweden. our tour guide for the day Chesney where to Chesney Malmo. we are here in Malmo we are here in Malmo <laughs> and good I don't know where we're going <laughs> so this is quite funny Chesney's just gone to the toilet so I spend a lot of my time navigating you know uh, and driving all the while and navigating all the while and uh, Chesney can't help herself but micromanage me all the way through and go, what about this then, what about that then? So today I said yes, after yesterday, I said, now I've had enough of you micromanaging me and telling me, oh, what about going here, oh, have you thought about this? Well, I'll tell you what, you navigate for the day today and I'll show you how to be a passenger, right? So, um, Chesney's navigating today while we navigate our way around the city of Malmo. And just behind me here, you can see, look, Central Station. So we got off the train 15 minutes ago at Central Station and we are walking off for a canal tour. So we're going to go on a boat trip on the canals. So Chesney has navigated us to the boat's place, she thinks, but we haven't got there yet because all we've done is walked around in a 15 minute square and um, effectively walked around the block for 15 minutes and now we're back at the station where we just got off. Right? We haven't got, we haven't found the boat tour yet, or the twisted, tortured statue or something we're supposed to have found yet. And now she's getting flustered. I don't want to be sanctimonious, but you know, um, this will be a lesson in not micromanaging the navigator. <laughs> No. You need your quells? No, it's a canal. You you sure? To to Don't blame me when you're chucking it up over the side. It's a canal, for God's sake. Yeah, when you go under the bridge, it seems like it's really hard to go to the top. And on this bridge, you're going to find the Malmö Coat of Arms in the center of it. This is now a cultural arm, quite simply. I know those people. <laughs> Okay, well this is us in there, Malmo, Salmu Hall or something like that. Look at that. Street food place. Street food galore, let me show you what I've got. It's obviously vegetarian food here. 
bashed up potatoes, they call it, they actually call it smashed potatoes, and a vegetarian Philly cheese. And good lady wife has got half a pork belly, and I don't know what she's got to eat. <laughs> That's funny that. There's one pork belly going into another pork belly. They've obviously spent a couple more quid on the uh, station in Sweden, in Malmo, than they have in uh, Copenhagen, in the central station. Look at this. They've been projecting pictures onto the wall of different things. So it looks like the train's going past, even though the train hasn't actually even arrived yet. How cool, sir? Guys, I know how to treat my wife. We are at the Natural History Museum looking at the Neanderthal exhibition. I know, she's enjoying it. What do you reckon? Similarly. Guys, we're living it up today. Not only have we been to the Natural History Museum to see the uh, Neanderthal exhibition, we're in the Palm House at the Botanical uh, Gardens. And eventually, these glasses might unsteam so I can actually see something in here. <laughs> Living the dream, doing the museums. Guys, we're just around Copenhagen in the city centre, about to get on a boat tour, and we've only gone and stumbled upon the uh, start of the women's tour of Scandinavia. So you can see around us everywhere all the cycling teams. Uh, for those of you who know me, you know I'm a right cycling nut. I love it. So here's all the teams. Um, team, team village, all their motorhomes and their cars and the team bikes and everything. I'll put a few bits on and pictures of the bikes and that, but look at them, the Uno team. We've just been past the Jumbo Visma team. How cool is this? Look at these, these are the best ones, these Ribble bikes. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And they're the ones actually with the team numbers on. They're the ones with the team numbers on we're actually gonna be riding today. Right guys, we're on another boat cruise so we're just setting off but check this out look at this this is the famous street in copenhagen welcome aboard everyone can you hear me in the back someone in the back put their hands up if you can hear me perfect hello my name is jens i'm the guide up here in front is the captain his name is manus and together we'll keep the safe and entertained for the next hour around copenhagen harbour and canals this statue was put here in 1913 by the brewer Karl Jakobsen from Karlsburg. He had been to the Royal Theatre to see a ballet version of Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, uh, The Little Mermaid, and he really liked it. Here's the big one. Now the Little Mermaid, she looks happy and peaceful over there on her rock, enjoying all the attention, but she's had a rough life so far. She lost her head twice already. Der er på solsiden og ved højre side, der er faktisk en grund til de forskellige farver. Og det er fordi de fra før, vi havde postvæsen, og dengang var der ikke nummer på husene. Don't worry guys, I've got this. I've just had lunch at, uh, oh look, there it is, look. Hetty Fadet. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly how you pronounce it. I am 100% convinced that's how you pronounce it. Well, it's beautiful. Went on a boat tour, had lunch, watched the tour of Scandinavia setting off, and now we're just going to pigeon our way around the rest of Copenhagen and see what we can see. Okay guys, final morning in Copenhagen then. We're going there this afternoon down towards Roby to catch the ferry back into Germany tomorrow. But, uh, 
we've had to see a few of these you can see this little swimming area behind me and what it is apparently is that the Copenhagen local authorities have worked with the Wildlife Wildlife Fund or something like that to keep the harbour area especially clean the water and they've been actively managing it for years and apparently it's that good now that you can actually swim in it so what's going to happen is there's oh and as you go you can see the city behind me there's several of these um outdoor bathing areas you can swim in so me and good lady are gonna have a dip in here because you know we like a bit of wild swimming there we go seven seven seconds rules <laughs> after seven seconds it's not cold anymore that's that's just rubbish <laughs> Okay, so that's us in the, uh, in the harbour in Copenhagen then. How cool is that? <laughs>